Welcome to the tech sector. Today I'm talking about the mining profitability of 1060s. Not this one specifically, but we're going to get into that later. So I made a video just two days ago talking about the mining profitability of 1060s also, and I made a mistake in it. I said that you can't mine Ethereum using the 3 gig 1060, but I was completely wrong about that. And two people called me out in the comment section, and I full on admit I did get it wrong. I went ahead and thumbed up their comment. I never looked into it that much. I heard the DAG files were getting up close to 3 gigs, so I just assumed that you can't mine with the 1060. I never tried or did anything myself, so that was completely my fault. I deleted the video, so I did not spread any more incorrect information. So thank you. I believe this is Shen Mi, which means mysterious, correct me if I'm wrong, and Christian Hay for calling me out on that. With all that out of the way, let's hop straight into the video. We're going to be using my 1060 mining rig here. Five of the cards are three gigabyte, and this one up here is a six gigabyte. The system draws just around 560 watts. And on EchoHash, using the DST miner, our system puts out just around 1,780 hash. As you can see, most of the GPUs are putting around just around 300 hash. The ones that's putting out a little bit more is the six gigabyte option. As you can see, my power settings are 67 on power, 129 on core, and 772 on memory. This is a very, very efficient system. I mean, not as efficient as 1070s and stuff, but we'll get into that in another video. Just around 3.6 soul per watt. That's a pretty good average. I've got other 1060s over here. Also, some MSI, some Gigabyte. We're not going to be testing those today but they put out just about the same thing. By the way, if you guys want to see a video comparing single fan 1060s versus like a dual fan, well, that's not even a 1060, that's an RX 580, but still, single fan versus dual fan, ASUS versus MSI versus Gigabyte, things like that. If you guys want to see that stuff, definitely let me know down in the comments below. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down this, this EchoHash miner and I'm going to start up Claymore mining ETHash real quick. So the system's putting out just around 24 mega hash per card, as you can see, and it's doing just around 143 mega hash total. There's just something weird going on with this one card here, just doing 22. And the OC settings are exactly the same. So once again, I do just want to apologize to all my subscribers and to anyone that saw that video that got that bad information. I I really, I really feel like I let you guys down and so many people have been subscribing recently. Thank you so much for that, by the way. It's really motivating me to make more videos and put out the best content I can. So I'm going to triple check my info from now on and make sure that what I'm putting out there is the truth. If you guys see something wrong, call me out on it. I'll try to rectify it as fast as I can. So with that being said, let's hop straight into these hash rates. On EquiHash, we're doing 1,780 souls, and that's about 296 soul per GPU. On EdHash, we're doing about 144 mega hash total for the system, and 24 mega hash per GPU. The power consumption at idle for just a bare bone system, RAM, CPU, and a motherboard, that's about 45 watts. When you add in six fans, that brings it up to 51 watts. And when you add in six GPUs, that's about 95 watts. So that's just a system sitting there doing nothing, just idling. That's about 95 watts alone. Power consumption when the entire system is mining, that's about 560 watts. By the way, this is verified. I do have meters on all of my systems. And that's about $1.34 in electricity a day. Power consumption from the GPUs alone is 509 watts, and that's about $1.22 in electric a day. If you want to break it down further, power consumption per GPU is 84.8 watts, and that's about 20% electricity a day. So if, if you've only got like two GPUs, you're only using about 40 cents of electricity a day, which doesn't hurt at all. Our souls per watt is about 3.49 soul per watt, and on mega hash, we're doing about 0.28 mega hash per a watt, so that's that's respectable, you know, in that in that range. I know that earlier when I showed you guys the system, it was saying 3.6 sol per watt, but that's not accounting for all the inefficiencies in the system, like power supply, uh, things of that sort. 
and fans, all that other stuff. So, on Equihash, we're doing $4.28 a day. for that. That's for the entire system. And once you take out your electricity cost, that's about $2.94 a day as of 327-2018. If you only have a single GPU system, you're doing about $0.71 cents a day. And after electricity, that's about $0.49. Cents. I do just want to say I am calculating electricity at $0.10 cents per kilowatt hour. The average, that's the na national average here in the USA. I live in New York, so I do pay more. But... I also have solar and stuff like that so it's not as bad for me and a video will be coming about that in the near future i i want my solar guy to be with me so he could really walk you guys through it um on eth hash we're doing four dollars 89 cents a day so as you can see it's quite a lot more profitable after electricity that's about three dollars and 55 cents a day for the entire rig if you have a single gpu system that's about 81 cents a day and after electric, that's about 59 cents. So I'm just gonna go on to what to mine real quick. I'm gonna click the 1060. And as you can see, Ethereum is the most profitable thing to mine. So you can go ahead and mine, go ahead and mine it, whether you have a three gig or a six gig. And the most profitable Equihash coin is Bitcoin Gold. Of course, there's a lot of other coins that you can try to mine. For example, on my system, I am right now mining Hush even though it's not the most profitable thing. I like Hush and I wanna see where that coin is gonna go. So that's it for now. If you guys have anything in particular you wanna see, let me know. I will be coming out with a budget 1070 Ti GPU, CPU, mining, workstation, gaming PC soon. So definitely stay tuned for that if you're interested in that kind of thing. Thanks for watching this profitability video on my 1060s. I will be doing one soon about 1070 Ti's, 1080, 1080 Ti's, things of that sort. I still need to make my mining rig frame for my rig that's supposed to be going over there. And I'm still supposed to be doing my desk PCs, which I know I've been saying I want to do for the past couple of videos, but I just haven't had the time to do it. So hopefully I get to it this week. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy, have a good day.